GST. And we're actually going to do a little bit more than just calculate GST. Um, but I'll talk about that really soon. The first thing we've got to understand what GST is. And I've put it here in the success criteria, a bit weird here. It says it's a goods and services tax. All right. So a good is like a surfboard. That's a good. A service is like mowing your lawn, cutting your hair. So anything that you pay money for is a, is a good and it's a service as well. So just be aware of um, all those things that you can... Essentially anything that you pay money for is a good or a service. So um, when it came in, it was supposed to be on everything. But there are some things in the Australian government that are exempt. For example, fresh food. Your school fees are exempt as well. Um, and there's a list of things. And recently, um, female sanitary products were made um, GST exempt. But essentially, whatever you buy in Australia, it's 10%. Okay? So we calculate the GST by finding 10% of the pre-tax price. Really important. Whenever we go to the shop, it's the law that we have to see the post-GST price. So the total amount, what we pay out. And it says to find the pre-GST price, divide by 110%. Now remember, this is actually 110%, not just 110. And then do the same with VAT. Now VAT means value added tax. And that is something that many other countries have, a value added tax. So for example, Canada, um, Singapore, heaps and heaps in other countries. So we're going to be able to do that because hopefully one day you'll be able to travel and you can see all that. So write this down, let's go. Okay, so Toby bought a bike trailer with a pre-tax price of $340. Really important information there. What is the GST that he had to pay? So I'm gonna go 10%, I'm gonna write this in English, of $340. And now what I'm going to do now is change it to maths. So either I'm going to keep it as 10% or go 10 over 100. You do one or the other, you can't do both. Of means times and go 340. Now I'm just going to put that in my calculator over here. So I'm going to go 10% or 10 over 100 depending on what calculator you have. Of means times, 340. And I get $34, which hopefully you know how to do that in your head. Now that's the GST, so the GST is $34. It goes, what is the total price that he had to pay? Well, the total price is the pre-tax price. So total price is 340 plus the GST, which is 34. So we just add those together and we get three hundred and seventy four dollars so that's how much he had to pay for the bike trailer including the GST all right C is a different question it says Katie bought a bike trailer for three hundred ninety five dollars how much was the pre-tax price of it so we're going to do here where it says here in the um, success criteria so pre we're going to divide by 110 percent so I'm going to go three hundred ninety five divided by 110%, all right? Now, another way to write 110% is 110 over 100. That's converting it to percentage, but I'm just gonna keep it as that. And I'm gonna type that into my calculator, 110. Make sure you include the percentage symbol in your calculations. And you should get an answer, which is um, I did it wrong in my calculator. Yeah, three hundred and fifty-nine dollars, and it goes to zero nine zero nine zero nine one. But because it's money, I'm going to go to two decimal places, so it'll round up to. No, it'll just stay like that, and that's to the nearest cent. Okay. So that's how much it was pre-tax plus the 10% GST will get you up to $395. Okay, let's do this. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing except we're going to do VAT. And you've got to, you, 
the question is going to dictate you how much the tax is. In this case, we're using Canada and it's 5%. All right. So you can look that up on Google and things like that. Let's do the question now. Toby, the same question, but but it's for 410 Canadian dollars. He goes, what's the GST you had to pay? So I'm going to go 5% of 410 dollars. That's in English. Now I'm going to change that to maths. I'm going to keep it as percent because that's what I'm going to do. Of means times. And hopefully you know that 10% of 410 is 41, 5% will be half of that, so $20.50. But I'm just going to type it into my calculator so you can do the same in this time. And I get $20.50. And now these are Canadian dollars. Um, what is the total price he had to pay? Well, it'll be that plus this. So total price. is 410 plus 2050 and that equals 430 dollars and 50 cents including the tax all right let's do this next one it's the same question katie bought a bike trailer for 450 445 dollars so I'm not saying it properly. What was the pre-tax price? So we're going to do the same thing, except instead of dividing by 110, we're going to divide by 105 because it's 5%. So I'm going to go 445 divided by 105%. And we're going to put it like that in our calculator. So 445 divided by 105. Make sure you include the percentage symbol. And you get an answer of $423. And I'm going to just round it to the nearest cents already. 81 cents. So I'm going to put the dollar sign and say nearest cent. Okay. And that's it. So that's working with GST or other value added taxes. VAT. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. Peace out.